Inflation is down at 4%. The lowest it's been in two years. And you got SEC still on their witch hunt. People in Congress want to fire Gary Gensler. There's a lot going on to crypto. Before we get into it, could you please, Mike Tyson, the like and subscribe button? You can see out in the fear and greed index for Bitcoin, we're at 45. Fear was neutral yesterday, so hanging right there, kind of a little bit below the middle. And you can see Bitcoin is about 25.8, Ethereum 1700. You can see BNB is actually up 4%. Cardano still getting hammered off being labeled a security. You got Solano, Polygon. You know, you can see Polygon's down 21%, Cardano 22% in the week, BNB 14%. So yeah, the ones that got listed as a security in the Binance lawsuit are getting hammered. They've bounced back a little bit. So right now you can see that, you know, right now there's Circle CEO Ava Labs on Capitol Hill for the House hearing on future of digital assets, the House Financial Services Committee. There's a lot going on. You can see that people in crypto already know that there's videos of when SEC Chairman Gary Gensler was at MIT and he was talking about how Bitcoin, either Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, why did I name those for? They are not securities. So he's talking about Ethereum, but then obviously when he was in front of Congress a couple months ago, he wouldn't give a straight answer on Ethereum. I think Cardano is pretty decentralized with over 3,000 stake pools. So I think eventually Cardano will bounce back. You can see that Turkey residents turned to crypto amid another Lira collapse. So I went to Turkey last year. I think it was $1 to like 17 uh, Turkish Lira. Now I believe it's like 25 uh, Turkish Lira or something like that to USD to Lira. Now is like 23. So yeah, I think it was about 17 last year when I visited there. And you can see some of the other things like the Russian ruble, the dollar to the Russian rubles, 83.95. You can see the dollar, the dollar's gotten stronger there the last year. Uh, you can check out the, the Chinese dollar, Chinese money. Uh, one last year, you can see that the dollar went down and now it's kind of making a little bit of a run back up. The DYX chart, you can see dollars at 103. This is one day. Let's take a look at the three years so you can see there's a run up to over 1 110 to 113 it's pulled back kind of going sideways now so even Janet Yellen saying that the dollar will be weakened is the reserve it's no surprise it happens to all of them I think it's going to be a while a lot of people are making plays the BRICS countries aren't very organized in terms of India and China have their own rivalries Russia's got its own set of problems. Brazil's got its own set of problems. So their currency or what the currency they might want to come out with probably isn't going to happen anytime soon. It might not be that strong. The Chinese dollar, while people are using it, still isn't quite in place. I've seen some lot, a lot of good videos on YouTube about people talking about it, about how complicated it is when you have the reserve currency like the dollar, how it's used internally externally in your country and the responsibility that it has and it taxes your economy in certain ways china's got uh you know the basically an export surplus so it would change um china's economy if they became the reserve currency and they might not be in position to do that just things to keep in mind let me know what you think uh, about the state of crypto right now let me know what projects you like. And do you think that as we work toward the Bitcoin halving next April, do you think we'll start going up and uh, just the, the you know, battle rages on? Do you think that the Congress is going to start making some rules so that you don't have the SEC out there doing whatever they want? I think eventually they will. I think there's enough people, uh, both, both political parties, that know that the future... There's a blockchain and crypto is going to play a role in it and they don't want to be left behind and they know that there needs to be some clear cut rules about what the SEC, the CFTC can do. So that's what I got for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.